it is and it's tough and a lot of players start to go uh, question how are they so far below if they were so far above the other threshold but what a lot of people seem to forget is the fact that when you're below that second threshold you're comparing yourself to the teams who are 50th essentially 50th on the storm surge damage leaderboards then that next threshold you're comparing against the teams who are 30th so it seems like if these teams are so much higher above the second threshold then go so far below on that moving storm surge it's just because they haven't got enough tags quite frankly and look at this pressure coming in from uh, Wrigley's team there. They are forcing Senta Command and Edgy down into the low ground here. They recognize that they switched on over to Wood, and this is spelling disaster now for Senta Command and Edgy. And they know they're going to have to take this fight. They're going to have to show teeth here, bite back, fight back, because otherwise they're going to get completely taken out here. Commandment, no shield. Senta, no shield, but the knock comes through onto K-Burbs. This is winnable now. This is a situation that they can continue to climb back, but no, high ground comes down. They sneak around. It's up to Edgy by himself. Himself. We've seen him do ridiculous things in the past. Can he do it one more time? And no, oh, the shot wasn't there. They fall. They get taken out. And second place is down. But our third place team is up. It's Tabs G, Pledge, and Teo, who are now fighting for second place spot. Fighting to go ahead and catch up to our number one seed here. And hopefully they're aware of what they need to do this game, right? They need to play every individual match that they can, but they are also low on builds. We saw 19 in the inventory at that moment too. Eomzo's team trying to launch pad all the way ahead. They need a big game this game. Every other team starting to hit the pads. It seems to be Zlem's team with Narwhal, who's going to be trying to claim high ground, but no bank teller lands on top of that too. At the back of the storm, we see Hufishi and Kaz still in this as a duel. Remember, this was our sixth place team and they lost aspect early on and they're still up in it. But again, scuffed on material they need to be able to try and get some sort of refresh to keep it in this but as a duo it's going to be very very tough yeah definitely kaz who fishy aspect on the move right now though trying to go ahead and solidify their their route back on up to the top remember they had two second places yesterday before falling out of favor kaz here split up from his teammate no bills to work with still alive can he pull an eu clutch the way we just watched curiosity do here he managed to stay alive for forever what seemed like forever in the end game kaz is still up on that low ground he's above the surge one less thing for him to worry about here and he's got some hp to work with too on the other side, though, Degen trying to march his way on up to the top there alongside Aegis and Skittles. He's at the front side of the zone. Enemies to the right here making edits here. They're fighting for control of the builds. It's not easy by any means. Who fishy on the other side by himself now as well. He's got a couple mats. He's going to go for the fight. Down comes the edit. Beautiful shot there. That's one down. Nicely done. That's on to stretch. Another top 10 team now. Crossed every single team picking up members on other top 10 teams as well but every single player we've checked into seems to have under 20 builds to their name this end game being scuffed fight after scuffed fight of ZDGen's team still in it as well Eomzo's team comes into the back of Hufishi and it seems to be Hufishi will be taken down at that moment too but Pledge and Teo go down too leaving Tabs GLS alive as a solo the storm ticking pressuring him as he goes and no Tabs G is also going to be picked up as we see DGen in another box him going down as well but skills is still left in it making a med kit play at the back of the storm nope down he goes as well the shots are coming in it's to the pressure of the high ground team bully chris is in bank teller try to set up this victory royale here it's almost there on the front side of the zone except clarity knight shark they're still up right now they're still holding on slim here trying to make his best do with the game as well he's going deep into the zone trying to deny the eliminations here make any kind of play some points possible and the zone's coming his way he might actually be able to sneak his way back into this he's trying to find a siphon here that's a desperate act but no it's not going to be enough down he goes and now we're setting ourselves up for this 3v 3v 2 situation that's going to unfold here Yep, most of the teams in here not in the top 10 overall on the leaderboard. So definitely big shakeup starting to happen right now. But for Clarity G, 11 builds to his name. No AR in the inventory. The pressure starts to come out from the high ground team. They're hopefully going to be able to pinch the team that's in the mid ground right now. Looking up, Ooh, trying to apply any pressure they can. But they found another chug cannon. And this could be Zlem's old loot that they came across. And an absolute gold mine of loot, of materials, of heals, of whites in particular, picking up hopefully that med kit so they can make some med kit plays for the victory hell. But because this is going back over the old builds, every team is slowing down. It's potentially going to go to a heal off and I've not seen any team that has a ton of med kits, a ton of those chug cannons at the same time. So this may have to be some form of aggression coming from the high ground teams just jumping down and Squish goes down. 
There it is. Finally, Bank Teller, Krizix, they get a little more active. You can tell they're getting antsy here. They're trying to work their way down. Time is ticking here, guys. They're starting to run out, but so is the low ground team. Luckily, they do have a heal situation, but no, no med kit comes out early. They're just gonna, gonna forego that entire thing. Out comes the launch pad. Up for high ground. Teams are trying to go in and fight for this back here. Bully goes up. Bully is safe, though, but the heals are happening down low. Bully might have tossed it, but no, that's a white tag. Can he get the finish instead? Clarity comes to the support there finds the final elimination and there it is the victor royale and again we see something just just unfold here nice sharking clarity uh sense of edge and commandment are down right that's one less team to worry about as far as other teams that can realistically jump up and snatch first place now if tabs g Teo, and pledge are still up and they're here in the end game now we have a big problem users duke and threats or users duke and justice here are no longer completely safe right their number one spot is definitely on the whim it is indeed so let's see how this actually plays out 15 seconds to go until the first one zone team. starts one to team. move one team indeed one team indeed needs to do it right here we're gonna see how this one plays out will he have the launch pad will he be able to do this is it gonna be possible he's managed to mark the zone right we've seen no, closer, but no, no the shots come out in the back and it's gonna be Macwood's team who picks up the elimination so this is now opening the field for other teams not for commandments team as they has also been picked up in this game too but for tabs g tail and pledge this is a possibility for them also remember Buka's team's out dj's team's out as well so tabs g this could be all down to them and also, it can happen for Slacks, Acorn, and Jack here, too, if they can pull something big here as well. One of the few teams inside the top 10 still up right now. Here comes another layer change. Beautifully done. They're just a single tick of damage above here. And now you can see how volatile it is. They need more tags. And all of a sudden, out comes the edit. Great job here. That's a refresher in a second. And another white tag. And Acorn with a quick wall take there manages to control the situation. Grab hold of the builds here. And this is their new domain to mess with. What do they want to do? Of course, get back up. They're comfortable now. They can play out this end game. Big points here as well already. Now that's five eliminations catching up to the edge of the zone where they manage to position themselves this is perfect this is perfect for them but they need to make sure they stay on a good elevated layer there here is. they're gonna do exactly that hitting the launch pad and they're almost gonna play for height no they're not gonna go for it i thought we could have seen the big play and it's the exit boys and clarity g on height who may have the day of their life still in this game though pams to carry fat to the backside but we see jack as he lands gets absolutely lasered down to 20 hp but luke who is still in it tabs g pledge and tail at the front of the zone picking up another elimination too Look at that, and that's gonna be a huge refresher there. And he manages to pick up the Chug Cannon. This is a win condition now granted to the hands of his team here. Unfortunately, he might have lost his shotgun in the process. We'll end up seeing oh, no. how that's gonna play out for him. But hey, they're still alive here. They're still in the game. And it looks like they have two Chug Cannons to work with there. And look at how many players are trying to work their way through the builds here. This is going through old structures. This is such a tough place to play out. How do we end up over here? I don't even know. It seems like time has flown by so so quickly but all of a sudden we're inside the strong hell in the heart of the stronghold here and acorn is still up he's already picked up another set of elims they're at eight now reese comfortable here but starting to run out of material another fight's gonna come their way soon They've been popping off, but Slack's now down low on HP as we see down on low ground. Pledge, Tabs, G, and Tail are running into some issues. You cannot break through that wall. Yes, you can, because it's the door. That is so lucky. Oh, I thought so they were lucky. actually going through into the walls of that. They're actually in the middle. I thought they were slightly farther out from here, but for them, they are still low on materials, but they have claimed that low ground. Stretch is on their layer. Canada as well, but they are not known to be low ground players, and they prove it here because Tabs easily wipes them with no effort above them the full trio slacks acorn jack still in this on high ground we see the exit boys and clarity g this is a 3v3v3 3 3 3 situation and it may go to the team up on high ground nope it's gonna go to pledge here it's gonna pop off the low ground the follow-up there and the oh. clean wipe and they completely demolished jack acorn and slacks completely taken out there well played for them pledge dips back into the zone he's got the single heal though he's got to be careful he's blowing all the shots there inside the zone and night sharking and clarity might be setting themselves up for this victory royale once again here they have the hp advantage reese i mean this is the kind of situation you want to be in but the more time they give them the more time the low ground teams can actually bounce back there's all the heals they come through it's winnable now what a great shot 
tabs, she finds one, but no, it's not gonna be enough. Teo now has to clutch this up. Knight is still up here. If he gets the siphon, he does. Oh my gosh, Teo just won that one too. Fletch gets to the zone here. He's going on up. He's going for it. He gets broken out. It's going to be a 1v1. Here goes the, the gunfight, but no. Doesn't find it, Reese. He's starting to run out of mats here. Into the zone he goes. He still has a little bit of time. He cuts him off. Here comes the edit. Shark is still alive. Was it too soon? Oh. That oh, was a no. huge play. That could have been so good. The reverse ramps to almost block them in the back of the zone. But making a really good effort to clutch it up. And as you guys can wow. see here, his effort to clutch it up does actually mm -hmm. put them in the lead by 18 points over Duke's Justice and users who are having some trouble with Stormstar today. Managed to get themselves into the top 10 and break through. If that keeps happening like it has in the first two games where you see 